Welcome to Let's Play The Thing. Hello everyone, let's just start up a new game. Uh, I'm going to play this on normal because I haven't played it since I was a kid and I probably suck and I can't remember what to do, where to go or anything. It's Whitley. What's the situation? Not good. What do you see? Not a goddamn thing in this storm. Have you found anything? Well, your transmitter's down and everything else is foobar. What do you mean? The base is gone, Colonel. It looks like massive explosives damage. Any clues here are gonna be like finding a needle in a haystack. Understood. Do a recon, see if you can find anything that'll give us an idea what happened. I can try to get the chopper back to you within an hour, but visibility's falling fast and the report for your area is not very good. Okay. We'll make a sweep and report back. Roger. Meanwhile, I'll check up on Alpha Team. Oh, Blake. Just remember it's 40 below out there. We both know exposure could sneak up on you. Keep your team together and... get them to shelter as quickly as you can. Roger that. Blake out. As you play through the first four levels, text pop ups like, okay, these will tell you what to do. Uh, it's 40 degrees below zero in the Antarctic, so whenever you're outside, you'll suffer from exposure. The blue bar at the bottom, okay, cold is bad. Thank you. As you play through the game, you'll be given objectives, and they'll appear there. Ooh, ammo. I think. Is that ammo or a flare? I just don't know. God, it's been such a long time since I played this game. I can't even remember. All I remember are these guys. And they died a lot. I watched the film recently though, so it uh, it spurred me on to play this game again. Blake, if you need anything repaired or even a simple bypass and I'm your man. If any of you take on any damage, get back to me ASAP and I'll help you out. I'm not carrying any dead bodies back. I'm locked, loaded, and ready to make shit dead. Well, thank you guys for that uh, impromptu cameo you just did. So we've got an engineer, a medic, and the stereotypical hard as nails black guy. Nice. Whenever you see the hand like that, it means that you can do something. Okay. I'll take it that one open. Area looks secure. Area looks secure. Success. Oh shit. Jesus Christ, why did somebody put a grenade in a fucking computer? So he is no matter okay. I'll have the gun and the Everyone ammo. Looks secure. Come here. Hold still and I'll fix you up. Thank you. Cheers, pal. 
Oh shit, I just locked myself in. Ooh. That replenishes all my ammo. Can I do that for all my guns? No, just the machine gun. Right. Okay, boys, where to now? Oh, they were flares. Okay, they were. I thought they were shot. Oh shit! I thought those things I picked up outside were uh, shotgun shells or something. Oh, it's cold out here. Ah, fucking hell! The roof's falling down. Fuck! It's cold. I hang a coat off my fucking nipples. Quick, get inside. But first, I want to see if there's anything good over here. No. Not all doors require you to fix junction boxes. Some of them are just plain locked and require a key. The door in front of you is such a door. <laughs> and you'll need to find the key in order to open it. The key can be nearby or far away. Okay. Shit! Someone's got my fucking key. You know what? I don't think it's this way. There could be something over here. There are lights. I'm gonna die of exposure. Go that way. Shit. Let me back in. I'm gonna die. I bet those barrels explode. Phew. Whew. There's a map there. I nearly died then, and I'm not pleased about it. Okay. I'm sure this game said there was an objectives marker that would point you in the right direction. I can't see a fucking objectives marker. I'm just going to follow these lights. Hopefully, they will lead me to my key. This is Pierce. Come in. Do you read me? Over. I need help. I'm sh Do you read me? Over. Ah, shelter. I'm gonna hide this tape when I'm finished. If none of us make it, at least there'll be some kind of a record. The storm's been hitting us pretty hard now for 48 hours. We still have nothing to go on. One other thing. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. They could be anybody's. We're all very tired. There's nothing else I can do. Just wait. R.J. McCready, helicopter pilot, U.S. Outpost North 31. Ah, Mr. Russell. We meet again. I remember, I, I re kind of remember these recordings. Actually, I at the, at the time I thought that made this really cool, because uh, you could remember certain bits from the film. Oh dear. I don't know if that will be recorded, but my email just interfered. Right. 